Enga Sevenstar, the first king and founder of the great northern kingdom of Andalia, a just and pious man, yet also a firm and ruthless leader when the need should arise. I, Grandmaster Stitch, will be taking you through the life and reign of the man who did what they said could not be done, to see how a young boy from a small fishing village in Andalos became a feared yet respected king of a great and wealthy kingdom. To better understand the man, we must first go back to the year 6587, to the coast of central Andalos, a kingdom already beginning to collapse under the pressure of the mighty Valyrian Empire to the south. Andals have already been fleeing to the petty kingdoms of Westeros for near on two centuries, carving out new kingdoms both grand and small, away from the looming danger of the Dragon Lords. It was in the year 6587 that Engar and his twin sister Jonquil came into this world, under the mother's watchful eye, born to Sir Lennox, a petty landed knight and his lady wife. The land that Sir Lennox ruled was modest, a small fishing village made up of no more than 60 small folk, with a few acres of decent farmland. Like most Andal villages, a small sept sat in the middle of town, the vocal point of the village and Andal life. The first decade of Enger's life was fairly uneventful. As one might imagine, two years after the twins were born in the year 6589, their bastard brother Harold came into the world. Lennox had fathered him on a farmer's daughter, he would later be known as the Black Star, but more on that later. Then, in the year 6595, Owen, the youngest of the Seven Star siblings, was born. It was in the year 6599 that the tragic event that helped shape Enger into the fierce knight and king he became would take place. Whilst on his way to morning prayers with his mother and siblings, a great fleet of unknown ships could be seen off the coast. The bells of the Sept rang to warn of invaders. They quickly made their way to the Sept, where the Septon and Septors hid many of the village's children under the hidden floorboards. The host was led by a Theon Stark, the Hungry Wolf, the king of the frozen northern kingdom across the narrow sea. The host came ashore, sacking the village and slaughtering all the villagers they could find, decapitating them and loading their ships with the heads of the fallen. Enger's lady mother was amongst the victims. It was after this tragic event and the great loss of his mother with whom Enger had been very close that he turned to the gods for comfort. With their guidance, Enger knew that he was supposed to be a knight and the saviour of his people. It was a year later, in 6600, that Enger became the squire of a travelling knight, Sir Boris Roseheart. He was squire alongside the knight's young son, Stefan. The two would become fast friends, a friendship that would last 50 years. Four years later, in the year 6604, after years of adventures, tourneys and battles against the Valyrians, Enger is knighted at the age of 17. His close friends Stefan Roseheart, Kristen Bloom and Danies Upton all shortly follow. Enger spends the majority of the next two years in southern Andalus fighting a losing battle against the Freehold. It is in one such battle in 6606 that Enger slays a Dragonlord in single combat, claiming his Valyrian steel sword as his own, renaming it Mother's Mercy, the now famous ancestral sword of House Sevenstar. By the year 6607, most of southern Andalus had been conquered and swallowed up into the Valyrian Empire. Tens of thousands of Andals are slain or taken into slavery. Enger and his fellow knights retreat north, back to their homelands. It is then in 6608 that Enger takes on his youngest brother Owen as his personal squire, to prepare him for the future inevitable wars to come. And those wars came sooner than the Andals would have wished. By 6609, the Valerians once again looked north and again invaded Andalos. The Dragon Lords were too powerful. The Andals could either submit, become enslaved, or die an honourable yet horrible death by fire. Yet there was one more option, and Enger intended to take it. <laughs> 